Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Kit Lacey from edubconversions.co.uk and today we are talking all about batteries. We want to talk about what are the best batteries, the top four batteries that you can use in an electric conversion. And we're going to go through the four main varieties uh, that you see before you. There's a few others that I'm going to tell you about that are not in front of me um, and some other ways and means of getting hold of these batteries so that you can decide which ones are best for converting your classic car to electric. And we're gonna start at the humble beginnings of the electric conversion industry with the trusty Cal batteries. Now, these batteries were all the rage probably around 10 years ago now when electric conversions first started to be available. There were packs given uh, from companies like EV West over in the States, and they prioritized using batteries such as these Cal formats. They were really robust, they were a pretty decent kind of style of battery, they were quite simple to assemble, they were box format, um, and they were reasonably readily available. So even though uh, companies in America got hold of them from American uh, countries, when we did our first electric conversion in 2013 with Indy, our green campaign, we used these batteries and we actually purchased them from a company in the Czech Republic. And the reason for that is because they were very, very popular within battery storage and solar battery storage as well. And that kind of made an easy migration into the electric vehicle industry. Uh, and also, comparatively, there wasn't really anything else going on. So at that time, that was pretty much the only thing you could buy. And you could buy them in slightly different shapes and different formats. These were some of the most popular. This is 180 amp hours. Um, so they were classified by amp hours uh, as opposed to kilowatt hours that we have now. Um, they are 3.2, they're uh, LiPo. Uh, batteries, so slightly different format to the more modern uh, lithium ion batteries that we have. And they were 3.2 volts, but they were only about half a kilowatt. So that entire brick there, and it's reasonably heavy, um, is only half a kilowatt hour of power. Um, so not tons of power to be able to get anywhere where you need to go. So we had to use 46 of those um, in our campervan conversion. So that's a lot of weight, it's a lot of space, and only gave us 26 kilowatt hours of storage. And that gave us around 100, uh, 140 volts that we needed to drive the HBVS um, AC51 motor. That was a lot of random bits of information. If you followed that, well done. Um, so moving on, we then had the boom of Tesla. So here we have the Tesla module from a Tesla Model S. Teslas suddenly became available and Teslas suddenly started crashing. So suddenly we had Teslas, Tesla battery modules available. Now, if you've seen a battery, uh, the, the way that the batteries are laid out in a Tesla, they're all on one big kind of belly pan sheet with a, a couple of stacks at one end, but most of them are all stored just like this, flat along the system. Don't worry about my coffee, this is a dead module. Deliberately, it's not a problem. I'm not going to damage this module if this spills during filming. This is a dead module from a build years and years and years ago, but I thought I'd get it out to show you the comparisons here. Now, these modules are still incredibly popular with electric conversions for a number of reasons. One, their kind of density is really great. So their kilowatt hours per kilogram um, is really, really good because it's Tesla who's manufactured them. They're also really fantastic because they have battery management boards built into them for, for picking off. They also have coolant built into them, which is a big deal. If you're wanting to run these at quite high power or do any kind of rapid charging, they have coolant pipes built into the back of them. That's a pro and a con in my opinion. It's great if they're in decent condition and you can use them well, but it's a bit of a negative because you can't buy these new from Tesla. You can only buy them reclaimed. And you're not gonna know if that cooling system is okay or if there's a problem or a leak or a burst until it may be too late. And I know from experience, if you leak coolant on a battery, it's done. There is nothing more you can do with it. And that is a lot of money down the drain. Combine that with, ideally you need battery modules in your conversion that are all from the same pack so that they are the same capacity and same voltage to be able to use. If you destroy one of them, you potentially have to get rid of the whole pack, even though only one of them is destroyed. So they're, they're really great. They cost, again, they're, they're second hand. You can buy them from all sorts of places. So you can get hold of them. Um, I think at the moment, at the time of filming, Zero EV have a handful lying around. You can also get them from uh, online. You can get them from uh, eBay. You can get them from Facebook uh, Marketplace. There are lots of DIY electric car groups on Facebook that occasionally will be selling these modules. And they go for around um, 800 to 1,000 pounds per block. Um, they are between 5.3 and 6.3 kilowatt hours, depending on which model you get, because obviously the different versions of Teslas, which is a 
75s, 85s, 95s, 100s. Um, so there's slightly different varieties, so you can check what those are. Um, um, but inside here, yeah, you can block between. So if you compare that, you can't quite see the depth here, but you've effectively got maybe three of those for the same shape and weight of one of these. Now, three, of, three or four of those would be 1.5 to 2 kilowatt hours. This is over five, sometimes over six. So comparable for size and shape, um, the energy density that I mentioned before, this is really, really advantageous. Another negative for this one is the physical size of it. Uh, we know from, from building classic vehicles, they weren't designed to hold a, a big battery in a shape. So trying to find a place for these to actually physically go in a box inside a classic car is incredibly difficult. And that's more often why you'll see them used in some of the lower voltage conversions. So things like your Hyper 9 conversions, because you only need five or six of these modules. And sometimes you can package them quite nicely. There are tons of companies doing that and you can find them online. Moving on to some of the next options, but here we have an LG Chem battery module. This one is actually uh, from, so we sell these on our website, uh, edubservices.co.uk, or if you go to edubconversions.co.uk, there's a shop link at the top. We sell these on our website. Um, they are technically used batteries. They come from Jaguar Land Rover, but they've been used in test models. So it's not a vehicle that's been crashed or had tons of mileage. They've got really, really low mileage on them. Um, and that means that we're able to get hold of them in decent quantity. What's really great about these LG batteries is they're very small and compact and, and format. So they're about the size of a shoebox. Um, they are reasonably heavy. These are 2.6 kilowatt hours per block, which is a really great capacity for what size they are. But they're also quite a nice low voltage. They're only 11 volts as a module, which does two things. These are really great then to use if you are doing a low voltage conversion like a Hyper 9, because you need about 10 of them, either 10 to run average voltage, 100 volt um, units. So they're nice and compact, um, and they're also great because they fall into a format where it's now becoming a bit of a uniform format within battery manufacturers, which is absolutely perfect, because it means all of our fabrication work that we do can be reused, and we can also use things like this. So these are cooling plates. This is a single one, we do double ones as well. Um, they are manufactured by uh, Zero EV, and we sell them on our web shop again. So this is a format shape where the battery module would sit on top, this is then structural, so you can mount into it and use it as part of your battery box manufacturing, and it's got coolant built into it as well, uh, which keeps it away from the battery, but also means that you can then run coolant through the batteries and get the batteries nice and happy. Um, and that's really great because, like I said, it's, it's a uniform format that matches all the different varieties. So these are also great because you, if you wanted to run a high voltage conversion, if you're wanting to power a Tesla drive unit, or if you wanted to power one of the new Zonic motors, um, then you would need uh, 32 of these modules, which would give you over 80 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is quite a huge amount in a, in a, um, in a classic car uh, conversion. But you've always got to find that space. So that's the downside, is can you find 32 to fit in? And that brings us to our final point here. These are um, uh, another battery format. So these particular variety, um, you can buy them from uh, companies like Calb, again, so the kind of the evolution of Calb moving forward. This one isn't actually from Calb, but it's identical in the inside. Again, same format, so it fits on the same cooling plates, which is perfect, but these are brand new. So these are from the factory, brand new, never been used. You get exactly what they are coming with, and you're not ruining them with any kind of cycles. Again, you've got your battery management plugins, you've got fittings for coolant, you've got structural fittings, and these are available in two different varieties. This is what's quite great as well, is you can mix and match these to match the voltage of what you're trying to create and the capacity. So these are the ones that we use inside our E30 and our E60 conversions for the camper vans. There's a variety of these, which is a uh, 6S2P format. Those are um, the now brand new ones are 2.35 kilowatt hours per module. So that's a really good capacity for a brick this size. And we can arrange 16 of those in a pack that gives us around the 380 volts that we need to drive things like the Zonic 70 motor. Again, well done for keeping up with those statistics. So, but again, these are available in that format, the 6S2P format, but they're also available in a 4S3P format, which means again, the voltage drops a bit lower, which means that we can take more of them with, with higher capacity. So with the 
previous options that I said there with the 6S modules, that gives us about 36, 37, pushing 38 kilowatt hours of capacity, which in a camper van is 100 miles range. For most people, that's brilliant. It's also great for us because we can build that into one single box that fits in the engine bay. Um, and it's a, a custom piece of fabrication that just slots straight in, it's really smart. The bigger capacity modules um, that have the different format, the 4S, 3P format, um, are actually a staggering 2.55 kilowatt hours per brick of um, storage, which is just an incredible uh, leap in the technology that we've seen over the last few years. And what that then means is that we can use uh, 24 of these modules, and we do that in two boxes in the camper van. So we have one in the original engine bay, and we have another that goes underneath, that sits underneath between the chassis rails. And that gives you 61, 62 kilowatt hours of total storage in that really compact pack. That can give a camper van somewhere around 180 miles range. You're also operating that at higher voltage, 350, 400 volts, which means CCS is possible and is really capable. So these meet the kind of perfect format for us, and, and we prefer these by a mile. We prefer them because they're new, so we can give a warranty to our customers. We prefer them because of the capacity um, that we've been saying, and it ticks all those boxes of being able to then run forwards with what we find our customers really need, which is the kind of warranty and reliability of the batteries, um, one of the most expensive parts of a conversion, but also unlocks all those amazing features with things like CCS rapid charging. Thank you so much for watching. My name's been Kit Lacey from edubconversions.co.uk. Please, if you have any questions or if you want to know more about the batteries that we use or anything more about the conversions that we take on, then contact us through the website. That website again, edubconversions.co.uk. There's a contact us button in the top corner. Drop us a line. We can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you again soon.